Monte Cassino, the last word on the first hill. Hello and welcome to Intoxicated Masculinity. If it's Wednesday, we have a cocktail video coming at you. Today, we are finishing up our rye month. Um, so, so far this month, we've talked about some fairly historic cocktails, some cocktails with some interesting history behind them. Uh, and today, we're going to talk about one with a fairly short history behind it. And that is the Monte Cassino. Uh, the Monte Cassino was created in uh, 2010 uh, by uh, Damon Dyer from Louis 649 in New York City. Um, he created this cocktail for Benedictine's 500th anniversary cocktail contest, which he won. The cocktail uh, is essentially just a take on a last word. Uh, we've talked about the last word a lot on this channel before. Uh, it's a cocktail that I like very much. I think it's a really good format. Um, and so it's kind of a good way for, you know, uh, mixologists and bartenders uh, to kind of experiment um, because it's just a really simple equal parts cocktail. Um, and I don't really have much to say about the history because the cocktail is only about 15 years, 14 years old. Um, so let's get more into making it and especially drinking it. Okay, we're back and we have some ingredients where I love to be. Um, so this actually, the, the recipe technically calls for three quarters of an ounce, but I found that just do an ounce. You're not hurting anything. All right, we're gonna start off with one ounce of our fresh squeezed lemon juice. And next, we are going to uh, grab uh, one ounce of green chartreuse's lesser known cousin, yellow chartreuse. One ounce. Now I think when I looked at the recipe on this, the one that concerned me the most was adding a full ounce of Benedictine. Uh, Benedictine is really, really cool and good spirit, but generally speaking, you use it in kind of smaller amounts. But I have actually had a cocktail that used an ounce before and worked, so I hope it continues to do so in this cocktail. Again, one ounce. And as throughout this month, the star of our show is our Rittenhouse Rye. Once again, one ounce. Now we should need to get some ice in our shaker and shake this thing up. All right, so go ahead and toss that in your shaker. Give it a good pound and give it a good shake. All right. And we're going to double strain this. So I just recently got these glasses uh, with a, one of those uh, Christmas package deals. I like it. These are actually Grey Goose, but uh, I kind of like them. They're kind of halfway between being a sour glass and martini glass. Look kind of nice. So I'm gonna double strain it into that. You see the yellow chartreuse definitely had an effect on the color there. And we're just going to do a very quick lemon twist. I'm going to splash a little. And there we have our Monte Casino. Let's give it a taste. It's good. It's, it's very alive. Uh, um, the kind of thing I was worried about is the Benedictine taking over. It doesn't take over, but it's definitely very present, um, which is fine. Benedictine is a, is a very pleasant flavor. I think it's on the edge of being too much. That being said, again, the, the, the lemon juice is holding up very well. So you get the, that nice citrus kind of base to it. And you get your herbaceousness coming from yeah, your chartreuse and your Benedictine. I think if there's one ingredient, ironically, that is sort of getting lost a little bit in this cocktail, it is the rye. The, the rye is there kind of at the bottom. It's kind of at the very base, at the back of your palate, you get just a little bit of spiciness. This is a really good cocktail. You can tell because I keep going back and sipping more of it. Um, it's funny, again, this isn't one that I would sort of consider to necessarily be a cold weather cocktail. You'd be fine sipping this by a beach somewhere. Um, maybe more a spring with your baseness, maybe a little bit more of a spring cocktail, but this is very good. Um, Benedictine is one of those, uh, it's one of those liqueurs that I think 
people don't quite know what to do with. Um, it's very good, um, but you don't see it in a ton of drinks. Also, yellow chartreuse, you know, not the most common ingredient either. Most people are using green chartreuse, but no, very good, very well balanced. Um, I think if I was doing this again, I might do an ounce of everything and then like three quarters of an ounce of Benedictine and just cut it back just a tiny bit. But overall, a very, very good cocktail. And we bid adieu to Rye, uh, Rye Month and uh, in fact, 2023. Um, I hope everybody is enjoying their year or enjoyed their year and is looking forward to a ne next year, which will hopefully not be terrible. That'd be great. Um, but if not, then, you know, we always have drinks. So on that bombshell, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good drink, and have a good day. Happy New Year! Hotel, what the fuck? Why did I say hotel?